So I bought this pool noodle chair. The noodle does not come with it. But I thought, wow, isn't this awesome? I got it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 at the $1.25 store that used to be the dollar store. And I bought a couple of them. I thought to myself, self, for a buck twenty-five, what a deal. I could not make this item, which is easy to make. I couldn't make it for that low of a price. So it's better to just buy the one at the store than try to make it myself. But if I would like to make it in a bigger size for the bigger noodle, then I might look into that unless they have one. I bought the smaller noodle. There's a little bit of space there, but the bigger noodle probably holds more weight. But it worked just fine for me. So I guess it would determine how much you weigh on how far it's going to keep you out of the water. So when I went to the pool today, I tried it out, but I was in the water and I didn't know anybody who could take pictures of me. So I can't show you me using the noodle, but I will tell you this, it worked perfect. So you just slide the noodle through the orange part. There's a little room, so you could get a noodle that's a little bit bigger and they do make bigger noodles. And I'm gonna look for a bigger noodle maybe at Walmart, but the dollar store didn't have bigger noodles. They just had this size. And then they have these elastic bands that you put around the side. So you'd have to stretch them out because they're kind of tight on here, but that's okay. The bigger noodle might even be longer or taller, but this was perfect for me. I took it to the pool today and I loved it. So you just like sit right in here and it held me up out of the water. It works, trust me. I'm gonna look for a noodle just a little bit bigger that would fit in here. And I was even able to lay back and be in a prone position and get some sun. Needless to say, I got a little bit too much sun today. It was 98 degrees in Milton. Right now it's like 96, it's finally starting to cool off. I had to leave Danny in the camper with the AC on. Thank goodness for AC, right? Because it was so hot. It was so hot that the water I was heating up in my water jug so I could give Danny a shower or bath, but it, well, it's a shower actually, later on, is really warm. Actually, I was thinking I'm gonna cool it down with a little cold water in here. <clears throat> and it's really warm. I got my little shower hooked up there for Danny because she needs to get a shower. And I washed off the front of the van today Got some, all the bugs off of it and then washed down the rest of it. I didn't really wash it hard, hard, but I washed it enough to get the bugs off the front and then rinsed down the rest. And I cleaned off the front of Shooting Star today because she was pretty dirty from hitting. And all my stars came off. I'm gonna have to make some more stars, but this looks better. I was, I really wanted to wax the front of this. Um, and clean up around the windows, but I'm not really good at putting caulking on there. Even though my brother taught me how to do it, it just it just never works right for me. But I did get some decor that Eric told me about for my roof. That I'm mean, that's another day, another project. But um, I do want to wax the front, and I cannot find that Zep floor wax anywhere. I did find it in one place, like by the gallon, but I don't need a whole gallon. But uh, we'll see. What'd you do today?
So big storms here in Wisconsin. A couple of uh, tornadoes have touched down. It's getting really windy where I'm at. And um, I'm gonna go to the trash and take Danny for a quick walk. Hi. The breeze is absolutely refreshing. I gotta say, it's been in the 96, 98 degrees. Um, but like I said, there's been tornado touchdowns here in Wisconsin today, I think three or four. And now the storm is moving eastward to my location, uh, which I am directly to the east, but it's still going northeast as it travels. And they are predicting um, winds up to 80 miles an hour as the storm is moving at about 70 miles, 75 miles an hour. So, um, oh wow, look at that. They gave these people a sewer too. That was nice. They're probably gonna be here a long time also. Well, probably longer than me, because but they have a big rig. That's a ginormous sewer. Um, so I can already hear the rumblings. Oh, it feels so good as it has been so hot yesterday and today. hope it doesn't rain on me because I have to walk all the way around that mosquito infested pond over here <laughs> to dump my trash. So I have already packed up everything around my site I, that is a potential projectile should we get high winds here because anything can happen in such a short time. I'll take you slowly, turn you around so you can see. I moved the van because my neighbor needed to move his boat. So that's across the street from me. And yesterday I offered, he said today, he goes, can you move, do you mind moving the van? I said, not at all. So I moved the van and I have faced it um, the other way and I'm parked on the campsite next to me with it in that driveway so it's not directly underneath the tree so I kind of don't know what's worse as I repin all the way you can probably hear the rumblings there's the mosquito infested pond but anyway um, oh the big class A left People are batting down the hatches and also their boats, pulling them out of the water and tarping them. That's what my neighbor did across the street from me. Nice family. They're from Illinois also. A lot of Illinois campers here. Come on, Danny. Um, yeah, so I don't want any of my items to be potential projectiles, just like as if it was a hurricane. You know, you got taking your long chairs. A tent or a greenhouse, I'd be taking that sucker down because I think it's going to be pretty crazy here in a, in a few. It says it's supposed to start raining here at 7 o'clock, according to my phone. We'll see. Oh, there's the trash. So I'm walking back from the uh, dumpster and you could see in the tree line over here, it's starting to get dark and it is grumbling, grumbling. The old man in the sky. Look at the trees. Wow.
the trees are rustling and um, Danny and I are <clears throat> headed back to my camper I've drank so much water today it's unbelievable because it's just so hot yeah so I'm glad I took Danny for a walk because she needed to poop and uh, woo. I actually love when I really like this weather <laughs> but I don't you know what I mean I like it because I the breeze is awesome the smell of rain and the smell of the greenery because they cut the grass because you could smell the fresh cut grass and the moisture but yet but yet you don't want it to rain too much Ooh, lightning lightning striking again and again and again and again rhapsody in the rain here comes somebody in their golf cart behind me. Here it comes. We did see a swirl, like uh, like something that might be forming a could or could form a funnel. Hopefully, it'll pass us by. Just keep on going. Walk on by. Do 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 do. Walk on by. Dan Warwick. Dan Warwick. However you pronounce it. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. Whatever. Ooh. What's it? Danny's like, come on, Mom. Let's get our shit home. <laughs> and these are the big trees by my camp. Look at them. I don't want hail on my van because they had hail the other day in some other parts of Wisconsin near Madison that were really bad, like where Mega Van Mike is. And people have dents in their vehicles that cannot be repaired. You know, you know, little pups from the hail. They said the hail was so big. Danny's scared. She wants to go in. She wants me to pick her up. She's either pick me up or put me in the house. Mama? Cool breeze is now coming through. Oh, it's not a warm breeze anymore. It's a cool breeze. And it feels so good. But it doesn't sound good. Oh, here comes the rain. I feel it. It must be 8 o'clock. Because I feel raindrops, feels like raindrops falling from the sky, falling from the sky. There it is, it's coming. The lightning, the thunder, Danny's freaking out. Yes, Danny is freaking out. I don't want to make you dizzy, but. Here it comes.
boy it's so loud the rain and thunderstorming is so loud I can't even hear the television <laughs> Danny is so afraid look at her Danny oh my baby it's okay mama it's okay mama she's so afraid I can't really open the windows oh excuse me <laughs> I can't open the windows because the rain's coming in no matter what side you have the uh, top hatches open you know the the max fan the fan and then the one in the kitchen <laughs> and I have two fans on because with the rain and then the air conditioning I wouldn't be able to hear a freaking thing <laughs> you know I do have the TV on and believe it or not I am getting channel 15 and now they're telling us it's the flash flood warning. I hope this lake doesn't flood. So I'm eating pepperoni and cheese. And I decided to go ahead and open up this Moscato Asi that I have. And it's got carbs in it. Well, I'm drying everything out from the rain and I'm cleaning up and packing up my camp. So the neighbor lady said, what do you do all day when you're here? I said, well, I clean and do laundry and I do everything I would normally do if I had a house. Got the hose out, washing everything off, drying out my tarp because it rained and it's muddy on both sides and cleaning off all my Legos and my plastic tubs and my chalks and everything and wash the floors and the camper and I sprayed for bugs. If I had a house I'd be having Orkin come out once a month. So I spray myself but I wanted to make sure everything was clean and then took Danny for a walk to keep her away from it until it dries. And then she got a bath. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and she can't stand it. So now she's got a rubber face and everything all over the clean little carpet. That's her little carpet. She likes to lay on it and it helps her not slip and slide all over the floor. Yeah, so she's rubbing her face and everything. And we're going to head out tomorrow.